Okay, now let's take a quadratic written in standard form. y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c and rewrite it in hk form. So remember what hk form is, is y is equal to a parentheses x minus h squared plus k. And the key here is, is that in this case the vertex is simply hk. So this is a really useful form. So let's look at a problem where we have y is equal to 3x squared minus 30x plus 81. And we want to rewrite it in HK form. So the first thing we want to do is we want to isolate x squared plus bx. And the way that I do that is I subtract 81 from both sides. You get y minus 81 is equal to 3x squared minus 30x, and then I factor of 3 out. Now, a couple teachers teach this different ways. That's not a problem. There's more than one way to just get in this particular cap. The second step is I'm going to complete the square. And what I mean by completing the square is I'm going to find out what number to put here so this is a perfect square trinomial. And the way that I do that is I look at b. b is minus 10. And I half it. Half of minus 10 is minus 5. And then I'm going to square it. Minus 5 squared is going to be a positive 25. So I'm going to add 25 there. Now if I add 25 there, I have to do the same thing to this side, but I'm not really adding 25. Because this is inside the parentheses, I'm adding 25 times 3. 25 times 3 is going to be 75, so that means I'm going to add 75 to this side. And then I'm going to get y minus 6 is equal to 3x squared minus 10x plus 25. And the third step is I'm going to factor. And this term right here will always factor very easily. This is going to be simply x minus 5 squared. So what two numbers multiply to 25 and add to minus 10? Minus 5. Minus 5 plus a minus 5 is minus 10. Minus 5 times a minus 5 is going to be a positive 25. And the last step, I'm just going to move the 6 back. And that's my final answer right there. And let's talk about why this is useful. We can read this. This is a parabola. And the vertex here is going to be 5, 6. And it's going to open up. The reason it opens up is that A here is going to be a positive number. And this is going to be a relatively narrow parabola because the absolute number of 3, the absolute value of 3 is going to be greater than 1. Let's look at a similar problem. Just another example. Let's look at y is equal to 2x squared minus 16x plus 34. Let's rewrite this in hk form. Also called vertex form. First thing I'm going to do is move the 34 over here. factor a 2 out. Leave a gap. Now I'm going to complete the square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take b minus 8, half it. Half of minus 8 is a minus 4. And I'm going to square that. Minus 4 squared is going to be a positive 16. So I'm going to add 16 here. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do the other side. So this is 16, but it's really I'm adding not just a 16. Since it's inside the parentheses, I'm adding 16 times 2. So I'm really adding 32. So that means I have to add 32 to the other side. 
minus 34 to positive 32 is going to be a positive, positive 2. 2x squared minus 8x plus 16. I'm going to factor what's inside the parentheses. Why is this minus 4? Minus 4 plus a minus 4 is a minus 8. Minus 4 times a minus 4 is going to be a positive 16. The last step is I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. I'm going to get y is equal to 2, x minus 4 squared minus 2. And that's my final answer. This is a parabola with vertex 4 minus 2. It opens up and it's relatively narrow. The h and the k gives us the vertex. The fact that this number is positive means it opens up. The fact that the absolute value of this number here is greater than 1 means it's going to be narrow. And that's how you rewrite quadratics in HK form.